Sir Francis Walsingham, was an Elizabethan statesman who lived from 1532 to 1590. He was one of the most influential figures of his time and played a major role in the governance of England during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Walsingham was born into a wealthy family and was well educated, studying at King's College, Cambridge and Gray's Inn. He entered into the service of the Crown in 1570 and quickly rose through the ranks, serving as Secretary of State from 1573 to 1590. One of Walsingham's main responsibilities was intelligence gathering, and he is considered by many to be the father of modern espionage. He created a network of spies throughout Europe and was known for his use of code-breaking and cryptography to uncover secrets and gather information. Walsingham's intelligence network was instrumental in protecting Queen Elizabeth and England from numerous foreign threats. For example, he was able to thwart several assassination plots against the Queen, including the Babington Plot of 1586. The Babington Plot was a plot in 1586 to assassinate Queen Elizabeth I of England and replace her with Mary, Queen of Scots. The plot was masterminded by Sir Anthony Babington, a Catholic gentleman, and secret supporter of Mary. Babington and his co-conspirators believed that with Mary on the throne, England would become a Catholic country again. Walsingham was informed of the plot by one of his spies and was able to intercept and decode Babington's secret messages to Mary. Walsingham used this information to arrest Babington and his co-conspirators, who were later tried and executed for treason. This event marked a significant victory for Walsingham, and the English government, as it prevented the overthrow of the Queen and the potential establishment of a Catholic monarchy in England. Walsingham's success in uncovering the Babington plot was a testament to the effectiveness of his intelligence network. He had a network of spies, both at home and abroad, who gathered information and reported back to him on potential threats to the Queen and the state. Walsingham was also able to use code-breaking and other covered methods to intercept and decode secret messages, which gave him a strategic advantage in the battle against England's enemies. The Babington plot and Walsingham's success in uncovering it helped to secure the reign of Queen Elizabeth, and maintain the Protestant monarchy in England. Walsingham's intelligence network also played a crucial role in protecting England from the Spanish Armada. He was able to intercept and decode messages from the Spanish that revealed their plans to invade England. This allowed Queen Elizabeth and her advisers to prepare and ultimately defeat the Armada. Walsingham's methods of gathering intelligence were often controversial and raised ethical concerns. For example, he used agents provocateurs, who would deliberately stir up trouble to uncover information about plots against the Crown. He also used torture to extract information from suspects. In addition to his intelligence work, Walsingham was also involved in many other aspects of governance. He was a member of the Privy Council, the highest body of advisers to the Queen, and was responsible for the administration of justice, and the regulation of trade. Walsingham was a staunch Protestant, and was committed to the establishment of the Church of England. He worked to suppress Catholicism in England, and was involved in the persecution of Catholics, including the execution of Mary Queen of Scots. Despite his many achievements and contributions to the governance of England, Walsingham was not without his flaws. He was known for his ruthless and cunning nature, and was often criticized for his methods of intelligence gathering and his role in the persecution of Catholics. However, despite his flaws, Sir Francis Walsingham's legacy endures and he is considered by many to be one of the greatest statesmen of Elizabethan England. His intelligence network and commitment to the protection of the Crown and England had a lasting impact on the country and his work helped to shape the modern intelligence services of today. In conclusion, Sir Francis Walsingham was a complex and fascinating figure who played a major role in the governance of England during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. He was a brilliant statesman, an innovative intelligence gathering, and a committed defender of the Church of England. 
His legacy endures and his contributions to the country continue to be celebrated today.